I would like to welcome everybody back to Doubles Thread, the first ever voice message based interview segment. And today we have a special guest, folks. Very special. I would like to introduce the incredible, the talented Rolina Rochelle. How you doing, Rolina? Okay, I guess I'm supposed to play along. I'm doing well. You doing okay? No, no, no. You don't have to play along. This is going to be an actual startup platform. You know, just me talking to a lot of artist friends that's in my Texas about their latest projects. And I want to talk about Girl Gang. So please tell tell the audience, why did you name your album Girl Gang? So I named my album Girl Gang based off of my daughter. She's four years old and she has Earth's palsy, which is a disability um, to her nerves. When she was born, she was stuck in my birth canal and the doctor just kept yanking and yanking and yanking, trying to pull her out and it ended up paralyzing her right arm. And so I promised myself that whatever I did as soon as she grew up that I would constantly tell her when she was able to talk to say I am beautiful, I am strong, I am intelligent, I am smart because even though this happened to her, God is already in control and he knew exactly what was going to happen before it happened and I wrestled with that for years and so I'm just now, to be honest, getting halfway comfortable with it too. like i'm not even fully comfortable with it because there's still things that are new to us every single day that we come up against and it's like man you know you just never realize how much you do with two arms and when you got one arm to work with it's like dang and so yeah coming up against certain things every single day of my life i'm like i'm gonna keep this promise to myself I'm going to keep this promise to my daughter, and it's nothing else to do but to stay prayed up, stay in the word, because I'm raising, like, a queen, and I need her to know who she is, and so I am smart, I am intelligent, I'm a child of God, and that's just the whole thing, like, that's where Girl Gang came from, because it's like, people say certain things about women and that women can't do certain things because they're not a man but I am just as strong I am just as smart I'm just as capable of getting paid the same thing that other men get paid and I can do stuff and I can probably do it a little bit better you know what I'm saying (laughs) hashtag girl game (laughs) like that's where it came from so um it's just a thing that i say especially when i see other women doing their thing i'm like okay then girl gang you know and sometimes i like put g i you know like make it longer because i'm like man i'm gonna put it in all caps too don't play with her she's doing her thing and if nobody else in the comments i'm gonna be in the comments okay girl so, hashtag girl gang, y'all go sing that. Okay. But to finish what I was saying, the whole project, that's why you hear her on number one. That's why you hear her on number, uh-oh, call me out. I think it's number seven. <laughs> it might be number six or maybe number eight. This so bad. I cannot remember right now. But she's on the skit tag I'm in and on the first skit, period. So, she the first voice that you hear. I want her to be able to grow up and play this project back and be able to, you know, tell herself those things. So, she can just listen back and get strength from it, you know? And I forgot um, the main thing. Last thing, there are no men voices on this project. It's all women. That's why all the features are women. Everything was done by women. Was up to the engineering. About, I mean, I'm not using anybody else. Uh, but yeah, everybody is a woman. Wow, that's amazing. It's a it's a project to encourage your daughter to know that she's just as capable as any man. It's a album full of females. Hashtag girl gang. I get it. I get it. So let me ask you this. How long did it take you to complete this project? Like, when did you say, hmm? When did you start it? And when did you say, oh, that's it? Just give me a little time frame. Well, Girl Gang originally wasn't even going to be an album. It was going to be like a small EP. But before an EP, I just had one single. And that was two years ago. But um, 
after just creating, I was just like, I'm gonna just create. And after just doing that, it just ended up being that many songs. And I'm like, this is just a whole album at this point. So that's how that happened. And nine months of those um, two years, I was obviously pregnant. So I didn't want to release anything and I couldn't fully commit like to the marketing aspect of it. So I just kept saving the songs and saving it. So it just ended up being an album. I only got a couple more questions. Don't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to bring awareness, you know, to my musical friends, my talented friends in this industry. Um, but my one question, uh, the girl game freestyle. How did you feel being an R&B artist, going bar for bar with some of the most talented female rappers in CHH? Man, it was no pressure at all. Like, I went first because I obviously knew, you know, my specialty is singing. <laughs> but I was like, when I was finding the women, I was just like, hmm. I gotta find somebody who I know is gonna kill it. I don't even care if they kill it on my own song. You know, like I need somebody who I know is gonna bring it. And that's how I, you know, ended up finding Thailand and ended up finding Mikey. But at the end of the day, that's why I do like our space and I do love um, the women in our space because one thing we gonna do is support one another. And now I got those relationships now where I could just hit them up and just be like, okay, sis, like, how you been? You know what I'm saying? So it was a crazy experience, but it was a beautiful one in the sense that, like, I can talk at the end of the day. They my sister. <laughs> okay, last question. Which song on your track list was the most difficult to complete? Like, which one caught you at a writer's block? You were going through something. Which, which one that just grind your gears trying to finish it <laughs> that's actually the perfect segue um you did okay because girl gang freestyle was the one that grinded my gears it wasn't because of um like the writer's block, block or anything because i didn't have that it was mainly because i had it on my computer and something happened with my computer where i lost all of my files and so um yeah it took me a while to get those and i had to re-record everything that i had already previously recorded and then i had to call thailand up again and be like girl i lost your stem but really i didn't lose it i just lost it because my computer messed up <laughs> but it was that one and that's really part of why it took two years well let me segue again because i want to take too much of your time because you're an artist a wife a mother of two but tell me how is it being an artist and a mother and a wife and a working woman and still trying to make the best music possible how is that for you how is that journey <laughs> It's funny how you said that, because literally today I was just thinking about balance and how I don't have it at the moment. I literally just had a baby this year, February. It just sounds so weird coming out of my mouth. I just had a baby this year. <laughs> Whew. And it's been eight months. My baby just turned eight months. Um, yeah, two weeks ago. And so it's hard because I want to make sure my baby's straight. I have my regular full-time job, but then I also breastfeed, and I always say that's a full-time job within itself, too, but it's not just me getting ready, you know, I have to think about myself, I have to think about my husband, I have to think about my toddler, and now, you know, a newborn baby, well, he's not newborn anymore, but still, it's a lot for one person to take on, and then to add to that music, and trying to have that independent a creative um, space and mindset it, it, it can be a lot so I can't sit here and lie and say oh yeah everything's good because it's not um, I feel like this season is my season of rest my season of trying to prioritize because if I don't I could go right <laughs> um, yeah so I know that I need to take these mo moments to enjoy my children at the ages that they are 
every time I drop just like a soda. I know that I need to be present. I've been reading numbers like a count. And so, you know, putting that album out, I did just release my last song for the year. And I'm going to take a moment to rest. And that's perfectly okay with me. I know sometimes in, as an artist, you know, we have to keep up with the latest trends, the algorithm. But if God calls you to rest, it's so important that we are obedient to him. And I feel like, too, when you spend that time in isolation, you also get revelation. So if I'm constantly just, I can be consistent, but if I'm constantly just going and just putting out songs, putting out songs, putting out songs, what am I pouring into myself? So yeah, I am currently in a season of balance and rest. And that's a word, man, balance and rest and hearing from God because you've had an impactful 2022, you know, with the birth of your child. A whole album, the marketing, everything. So, for you to take your rest right now and take your time, hey, by all means. But before we end Double's Thread, is there anything you want to let the people know? Any encouragement you want to give somebody before we head out? Folly Girl at Relina Rochelle. That's R E L E N A R O C H E L L E. You can find me on Facebook. Instagram, also Twitter at I Really Rock. That's I R E L E R O C. I'm also on YouTube, Relina Rochelle, SoundCloud, Relina Rochelle, Spotify, every media outlet, Amazon. Yeah, look me up, support independent artists. Hashtag Girl Gang. I'm out. Facts, facts, facts. Please support your independent artists. And again, we want to thank Relina Rochelle for taking time out of her busy schedule to have a conversation with your boy on Doubles Thread. And please go out and go stream Girl Gang on all musical platforms right now. And signing off, it's your boy A-Dub. And until next time, <laughs> Double!